Hello everyone and welcome back to Varal Banda. So guys, after a long time, we got Android 10 on Oxygen OS. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you that how to install Oxygen OS on Android 10 uh, coming from OnePlus 6 for Realme 3 Pro. So guys, carefully follow the tutorial in this video to install Oxygen OS on Android 10 for Realme 3 Pro. So guys, if you are here watching this video, then I must assume that you have already unlocked the bootloader of your device and already installed a custom recovery. Guys, after booting into TWRP recovery, just create a full backup of your system and data first. So if anything goes wrong, we can restore the system and data. Now guys, I'm going to format my data, which is exceptional. So you don't have to format data, but I am going to format because I need to remove the encryption and uh, I want to clean flash while you can wipe the system data and caches uh, you don't have to wipe vendor and internal storage uh, if you want to save internal storage now as I wipe the data I have to reboot to the recovery one time so I have rebooted the recovery now guys uh, we can install the system images guys we have to download the system images and the patch files the link are in the description uh, so I have put my file in the USB storage so I have connected an OTG drive here. So here in ROM, in the folder of ROM, DSI, install image. And then guys, install this image which is called Oxygen OS for AB devices and flush it as a system image. So it will take between 30 seconds to one minute. And after installing GSI as system image, just go back and uh, install this second patch which is called rackboot.zip. So guys, you can download this from the description just flash like boot.zip after that we have to install another zip file so let me install it so guys this is called oos 10 overlay fixed by viral banda so you have to flash it and you can download this zip from description and it will flash in just about two three seconds okay guys now if you want to install Majest, if you want to root the gsi then first of all reboot to the recovery one time so let me reboot so just click on reboot and then select recovery and while doing this keep holding the volume plus button uh, volume up button so it will boot into the recovery else it will reboot to the system so just keep holding the volume plus button until you see the twrp logo so guys we are in the twrp again now we can install majisk so just uh, select wherever you put your majisk zip file install it click on install and select the majisk zip file and flash it so guys after installing majisk we are finally done and we can reboot to the system now for rebooting system we have to select recovery again but this time we don't have to hold the volume plus button do not select system because if you select system you will reboot into the bootloader you have to select recovery to boot into the system guys the phone will reboot one time automatically so just don't panic and don't interrupt the boot process so guys as you can see oneplus logo it will take about two to three minutes to reboot so guys finally we are on oneplus 6 oxygen os 10 running on android 10 so just ignore this android system warning and we will on to the home screen of oxygen os so just click on ok and ignore this it will come every time you reboot your device just ignore it and now guys we are on the home screen of oxygen os 10 so guys as soon as the GSI boots up the first thing you have to do is you have to install GMS core APK which is also known as Google Play services because without that you cannot log into Google account and you cannot use Play Store and other Google services. So guys right now we are in the about phone section of the settings and you can see this is Android version 10 and Android security patch level is of October 1 uh, 2019 which is uh, a month old but no problem. Now guys we have got Android 10 on Oxygen OS on Realme 3 Pro that is a good thing. Guys after installing Google Play services application manually uh, now uh, we are able to log into the Google account and we are able to set up other things on uh, this device on Oxygen OS GSI. So guys Google is now usable as you can see Play Store is opening and running. Now guys let us start the review and let me discuss about the special features of Oxygen OS 10 GSI. So let me clear everything. Now let me move to the settings again. So guys, uh, so this is how settings applications look like on Oxygen OS 10 GSI. And now let us discuss about its features. So starting from display settings, everything works fine here, such as adaptive brightness, 
and then screen calibration night mode as you can see night mode is also working no issue here and guys reading mode is also working here when we enable the reading mode from here the display goes monochromatic and it just looks like kindle so it is really a good thing that reading mode is working and also the night mode is working on this gsi so guys the next is video enhancer we can enable video enhancer to feel the good experience while watching videos on your device but guys ambient display here is broken whenever we click on ambient display it just crashes the settings app crashes or we just got back so font size we can change font size from here and display size from here we can change that uh, okay guys led notification is none of our business because our device don't have led notification light and status bar from here we can enable the battery percentage and display network speed indicators so and also we can manage the icons we can enable disable the icons from here for status bar and guys battery style we can change the battery style from here like circular percentage and hidden so we can hide uh, the battery bar also the next is screen saver which is again completely useless because ambient display is not working in this gsi yes the screen saver looks like working but because we don't have access to ambient display it will be a useless option so guys in customization we can change the theme, the accent color and the quick setting icon style of the device. There is much more to customize like the wallpaper, the screen saver, the clock style and icon packs. In buttons and gestures we can enable the three button navigation bar or the android q navigation bar system um, so as you can see the bar at the bottom we just can flick it left or right to switch between applications and we can uh, swipe from the edges of the right or, or the left side of the screen to go back and forth android q gestures are really useful and um, awesome When we come to screen lock and security, so if your device is encrypted, so yes, screen lock is gonna work, you can set your passwords and passcodes, but guys, face unlock is not going to work even in smart lock because the GFs provided in this GSI are not having the smart lock face unlock feature. Uh, if you can install the nano GFs package over this GSI, so I think there is gonna be a an option in the smart lock for face unlock. And the OnePlus native face unlock is also not gonna work, so you don't have to try it. So this was about the features of the GSI. Now we will discuss about what's working and what's not. So guys first of all let me tell you about Volti. So as you can already see the Volti icon on top of the status bar and let me call from GeoSim to the customer care. Okay so the customer care number is 198. Let me dial it. Geo complaint helpline. So guys as you can see the call is connected. So the Volti is working perfectly. So guys as you can see at the top of the status bar there is a Wi-Fi icon that means it is connected to a Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is working perfectly no issue with Wi-Fi so now the next thing is Bluetooth guys so uh, whenever we turn on Bluetooth it takes about two three seconds to turn on and uh, when we pair a device it gets paired easily and we can share files between uh, two devices via Bluetooth also but when it comes to um, audio device like a uh, Bluetooth headphone then uh, it just connect and disconnect uh, randomly so I think there is an issue with Bluetooth audio I don't know if there is a fix for that and there is one more issue guys like uh, there are no emojis present in this GSI so you have to use a custom keyboard such as um, swift key keyboard to use uh, emojis uh, the emojis are not available in Gboard so you have to install a custom keyboard and for rebooting yes you can reboot the GSI normally like we do uh, without any um, three button combination we just can click on reboot and the device will reboot in the bootloader because it is a rack boot past the GSI so we have to reboot to the recovery if you want to reboot to the system guys it takes about 10 to 15 seconds to reboot the device the smoothness of oxygen OS is undeniable it is irresistible guys for me oxygen OS is best for gaming in performance in features and in stability yes I know that this one is not the stable one but at least it is usable as a daily driver and I'm glad that we have Oxygen OS running on Android 10 which is usable as daily driver. So guys you can download the GSI and flash it as I have told you how to flash it. Guys you will not get any uh, camera 
pre-installed in this GSI and also you don't have uh, any gallery app pre-installed in this GSI so you have to manually install gallery and camera applications you can also install oneplus camera application or gcam while gcam 7 is uh, not working here so guys this was the full review thank you please subscribe to my channel